Yesterday, Jerry Jones made it known that Bill Callahan is going to be calling plays next season. Callahan confirmed this to reporters, while head coach Jason Garrett, for whatever reason, didn't want to admit he's not calling plays in 2013. There's no real advantage for us to reveal who's calling the plays explicitly and how we're going to do it in early June. And uh, it's just that's just the way I feel about it. This is Dallas Fort Worth's originator, not an imitator. The all sports, all the time radio station of record is Sports Radio 1310, The Ticket. I suggest to you that I don't know what the hell a Cowboys identity is at all, other than the identity is Jerry Jones. What was that dog and pony show yesterday? Jerry simply decides on a nice, coolish Monday in June to tell the press, or did he, that Bill Callahan is the offensive coordinator? Wait, no, 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 no. Is he even the offensive coordinator? He's calling the plays. Wait, wait. Now, I know this is going to sound silly to you, but does that make him the offensive coordinator? It makes him the play caller. Whose offense is he calling? I ask you that. Whose offense is he calling? Is he now calling Jason Garrett's offense? And I ask you this. Who is designing this offense? It has to be Callahan, doesn't it? Doesn't the man calling the plays have to be the designer of the plays? And I ask this in particular about the very new part of the offense that's being brought in, the two tight end offense. The Cowboys did not run this offense before. I know they run a two tight end offense before, but that's when Martellus Bennett was an offensive tackle disguised as a tight end. A giant run blocker who was seldom used in the passing game and, by the way, failed almost spectacularly at times when they did attempt to use him in the passing game. But all that's history. Who's designing that giant new package for this offense? Hey, when you've got two wides and two tights and no fullback, what are the blocking schemes? Does the tight end line up in the backfield and go in motion? There are all sorts of plays out of that scheme to be designed. Who's designing that? But those questions, we we may get answers to, I don't know, August when Jerry decides to blurt something out again. I don't know. But my question is, if this decision was going to be announced, whose decision to announce it should have been, and it is not, 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 not Jerry Jones. It is damn not Jerry Jones. It is the head coach's decision. If you wish to amputate Garrett at the knees, that's fine. A public spaying and neutering at the ranch. Why? Why? Why do this to your head coach? Why do it to your head coach? This is idiocracy. This franchise is run by one man, and it depends what the hell he had for breakfast and if it settled well on what we're going to do today. We were told this decision was made weeks ago. Well, why not tell us weeks ago? What shame is there in telling us, ladies and gentlemen of the press, it's March, here's what we've decided to do. So the players didn't notice who was calling the plays? Jason Garrett didn't even know Jerry was going to say this? He's out there again fumbling and mumbling about processes and it's uh, it's uh, more than one person and it's everything like this. If Jason Garrett's giving up the coaching duties and they're being handed over to Bill Callahan, that's Jason Garrett's decision. Or at least he's part of the scene. Why not a nice, small, organized post-practice press conference that says, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying after practice. Here's what we have decided to do. We, we, not me, we, not me, we, not me. Jerry, get the hell out of this football team every once in a while. Let coaches coach and players play. The disembowelment of Jason Garrett is amazing. Fire him, Jerry. Do him the best favor he'll ever be done. Fire him. Fire Jason Garrett right now. Name Bill Callahan the head coach and offensive coordinator. Your expressed purpose of hiring Jason Garrett when you hired him was to be the offensive coordinator and head coach. And now you're not happy with his play calling. Jerry, 
Call your own damn press conference and announce this to me. Announce what plays you to call behind that piece of dumb offensive line you provided him last year. Tell me what you think would have worked, Jerry. Now, you, you run the organization, you get the hell on the uncomfortable seat. You tell us what plays would have worked with that offensive line, Jerry. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Now, you, Jerry Jones, you, you, you tell us. Since you're going to tell us everything on this team, you tell us about this. You explain how Jason Garrett lost his job because you sent him a piece of crap for an offensive line. You, the general manager, you, the owner, that was your line, Jerry, your line. And it was awful. It was awful. You tell me what plays worked with that offensive line. Please, please tell me what plays worked. Why doesn't Jerry Jones ever get uncomfortable? Why doesn't Jerry Jones? Because he doesn't have to be uncomfortable. Because he can run this railroad any damn way he wants to. And if you wish to look like a fool, then you're doing a damn good job of it.